Hey there, what's up everyone? My name's Terrifiger, and welcome back to Little Nightmares. Now, I found out that there's some masks that you can get in this game. There's a Scarecrow mask, there's a Teapot mask, those are available for pre-order, I don't know what that means. Uh, there's also a Beku mask, I think, I don't know. But that one was only available for the, for a demo, which is not available now. And then there's some other kind of mask, which I don't remember. And then there's also the lady mask. The mask of the lady. And you have to get that by smashing all the porcelain dolls in here. So I'm going to go through this, run through this entire game right now, and I'm going to go do that. And in case you don't know how to smash all of the, or where all the porcelain doll things are, I will show you in this video. Because I found a video online that helps me. So, here we go. So there's ten porcelain. You get out of my way, can. There's there's ten porcelain dolls in here, and I'm not gonna hug any of the gnomes because I don't need to for this. There's ten porcelain dolls we need to get, and I'm gonna show you the location of every single one, and some of them are actually extremely hidden. So let's just pop open this little vent and crawl inside. Crawl inside the vent. Time to go spelunking. It's been a long time since I've actually touched this game, and I haven't forgotten those two D those two DLCs that I haven't played yet: the Hideaway and the Residence. I've still I've done the Depths, but I haven't done the other two yet. I'm going to soon, though. Alrighty, time for this party to get started. Ah, okay. Still baffles me as to why there's a tiny little stairway over here when there's giant stuff all around me. The giant stuff of the maw. There's the first doll, right over here. After the staircase, you find this one, and you smash it. Done! Alright, done like dinner. So that's one of them finished. Okay. And now we get this thing that walks by. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that thing is supposed to be. It looks like His face looks like he's made out of wood, quite frankly. And I still don't know what this thing is either. Big tall man hanging down. He's really free, freakishly tall. Taller than me, I think, and I'm a tall guy. Uh, let's just drink this over here, because I am not tall enough to reach this. There we go. And I also found out that this character has a name, and that name is Six. Like the number Six. But spelled S-I-X. So, here we go. Eh. And I'm just wanting to make sure there's no little dolls around here, or in this room. Ah, crap. Come on. This character looks so much like Georgie, I was calling her Georgie at first. This character is a girl. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, let's, uh, you know what, I'm gonna light that little thing for you anyways. Uh, okay. I've already found every single gnome here, so I don't really need to hug him. But there you go. His little leg just kicked up. All right, I'm through. Ugh, I'm out of here. Bye-bye, little gnome. Frick, frick, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, commando slide! Oh. <laughs> it, it crushed me. Oh no, and I was just twitching there. Probably broke every bone in my body. And the neck, and the second porcelain doll is around here somewhere. It's actually around, around that way. I'm gonna go grab it now. So let's just do a roundabout. Here we go. It's in this direction. Right in this room. There we go. And got it! Eh. Ha! <laughs> Just breaks in midair. That's kind of paranormal. They're all asleep. And there's nobody awake in here. Don't worry, that guy was just rolling over in his sleep. I am out of here. I am so out of here. That's his real name too, the janitor. Actually, his real name is Roger. And I'm not kidding, he's got a name tag on his chest that says that. But he's just referred to as the janitor, but I like to call him Grandpa Longarms or whatever a hover nickname comes to mind. Eh. Alrighty. C come on, let's go. Oh, the hunger. Right, I forgot about this. Something I found out. Boom. You see that guy standing up there watching me? Looks like an another six, but it's got the same kind of wispy black particles that's related to the lady's magic. Thank you. So I don't know if that was like some kind of spy to watch me or or some kind of birth of my dark powers. I don't know what, but uh, I don't like it. Still don't exactly know why she's the uh, the lady is so intent on uh, capturing kids and 
and uh, I, I don't honestly know why. Some of them are getting petrified. The the thing is, is that let's pretend like that never happened. The janitor, I see him uh, wrapping it up and then sending it on meat hooks, which go all the way to the kitchen, which are then taken by the chefs. But, I, I don't know, I mean, like, the kids there look kind of, look kind of like gray and black and stuff, so I, I don't know whether they got paralyzed by the beam and then are sent there. So, I don't know. I honestly don't. What the hell is Six doing? I'm trying to cling on to the... There you go, jeez. I was trying to cling on to the chain and nothing was happening. All right, yeah, he, the, four, the the third one's up here. And this one here I did not even know existed. Jump and up there. Y you can't see it because my webcam's blocking it, but it's right over here. Right beside the plunger. That's kind of an unfair place to put it, but they did it anyways. So that's three porcelain dolls so far. Throw! There we, go. we gotta wait for the elevator. You rats have to get out of the way, that's my meat. Out of here, that trap's not for you, that trap's for me. And I'm gonna show you who is capturing me. It's our old friend, Grandpa Longarms. Got him. I'm just gonna t There's no Shadow Six that shows up here, but just look up above. You're gonna see a pair of arms with no body attached to them. Come down. See? Just hovering. I'm not gonna let him catch me this time. Oh, come on. There is no way. No, I'm not there. I'm not there, buddy. I'm not there. I'm completely and totally gone. The, the way that there's different things that work with this monster. With this monster, he, he, he can't see you, so you gotta be quiet. This is not quiet, but I gotta do it. And with in terms of the two chefs... It's out of sight, out of mind, and I like that. And in terms of the guests, it's if you're, if you're not within their reach, they immediately lose interest in you and go back to eating whatever they're eating. And with the lady, it's... You better be on your toes, mister, or you're toast. But wait a second, this is where uh, the dude chases me now, right? Yeah, I'm looking up. I, I know he's there. Hey there, big guy. Come on. Oh! Climb right over that pipe, that doesn't stop you. You're in it to win it. And so am I. There we go. And commando slide into here. And now we wait while he comes in. He activates the elevator, feels around for me, fails to find me, and then some gnomes come along and distract him. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this. Go ahead, buddy, feel around. You're blind. I mean, I have impaired vision too, but not as impaired as yours is. Or who knows, maybe you're not blind, maybe you just have the skin pulled down around your eyes. But then again, if they were around your eyes, you could just pull it back up again to then see. Yeah, there he is. There they are. Go get him. Yeah, he's out of here. Fantastic! And now here is the fourth geisha doll. Get that off. There we go. There's also a gnome that I can't get. Yeah, there, big guy. Alright. There's a fourth geisha doll. You gotta walk all the way down here, and there it is. Oh, no, I don't want to climb on the box. Pick up the stupid geisha doll and throw it. Okay. It's geisha doll number four. I did nothing. I did not even walk on any floor. Yeah, good. Belt him! Belt him with sound! Come on. Show me what you got, big guy. Let these clocks belt you with a sound attack. Get through. And now it's time to book it. Get to the top of these, and he'll be up there. I'm totally silent. The phone's ringing, I don't believe it. Every time I start to record, the phone's ringing. Hold on a second, guys. And once again, it's a telemarketer. 
Honestly, I, I I really want to like every time I I start recording, I sh I really what I really want to do is I just want to to take the phone off of the thing, and then just and then just like leave it off of its of its speaker. I made no noise. Come on, I made no noise there either. You don't know I'm here. You don't know Jack Squat. But the fifth doll that we have to get, yeah, you heard that. But the fifth doll we have to get is not going to be until once I reach the kitchen area. After I devour the rat that's caught in the trap because there's nothing else for me to devour in the vicinity and I gotta have food right at that very moment or else I will die. Seriously, like one moment she's like like fighting this guy with long arms getting ready to chop off his, his arms. And then the next moment she's crippling from her from hunker that hits her like a sledgehammer. I don't get it. Yeah, here come the gashes. He's gonna have one arm, two arms. Duck. Feel around. Feel the pipe. You feel that? Why am I not moving? I just... Oh, I, I'm moving the right key. All of a sudden it just stopped working on me. I don't get it. This keyboard is so broken. Oh, 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 oh. Catch me if you can, you big galoot. Ha 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 ha! Okay, here we go. Yep. Aha! Got him. Over and done with. Grandpa Long Arms is gone forever. Go choke on a cupcake, man. I'm done. Fifth porcelain doll. I'm gonna show you where it is. It's extremely hidden. You guys would not have known. I or I bet I bet you wouldn't have known, anyways. And I wouldn't blame you if you didn't know. It's it, I had to look online to find out where to find it. What? Okay, I hit the F key and nothing happened. I thought my lighter was out of juice for a moment. Mr. Fucking Psycho Doughboy. <gasps> gotcha! Haha! <laughs> so. Up there, yep. That's Mr. Fuck up there smoking. That him and Psycho Doughboy, they're reference- that, that's a reference to- a, to, um, a comic that I like. Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. He's got two styrofoam doughboys that he gave paint jobs and he named one of them Mr. Fuck and the other one's Psycho Doughboy. Okay. Oh no. Not hunger. Not hunger. Not hunger. Oh no! What am I gonna eat? I'm so hungry. Oh no, I'm collapsing. Get get to your spindly little legs that look like they're made of drinking straws. And catch this rat! And there's a shadow person over here again, watching the whole thing. Actually, the shadow person kind of looks like their hands are up like they're they're eating as well. All right, you see this? After you walk over here, drop down. Look, there's a little hole right here. You would not have known about it, I swear. Okay, and there's the last doll. Not the last doll, what am I saying? The fifth doll. The, there we go. My quest is halfway complete. And then you just climb these little rung ladders to get all the way to the top, and you've made it. I swear, you guys would not have known about this. Could you push the door open? There we go. Oh, don't, don't close me in the door. That would be unfair. And now this car, I swear, these things, these things are all, these bags all contain children. They all contain little children. There we go. There's old Mr. Fuck working away. He's the one with the fish face, the other one with the toad face. The psycho Doughboy. Yeah, there we go. Come along this way, buddy. Get- You're not even clinging on- That sausage is clipping through your hand. That's some pretty incredible work. The thing is that these things look like they're wearing masks, so I think that their arms are also like... I don't know, arm glove mask things, because... I also noticed that the pinky fingers of those are, like, really tiny in comparison. Yeah, I'm not here. Yes, I am here. Freak you. Commando slide. Why are you going around back there? I didn't go over here. See, the pinky fingers of his hands are, are really, like, shriveled and tiny, whereas all the other hands, or all the other fingers, are larger and pudgier. Like, his first three fingers are all nice and pudgy, and the other one's kind of small, so it's like he took someone's skin, jammed himself into there to try to 
to try to fit inside of it, and he only has three fingers. See, that pinky didn't even didn't even bend. That pinky didn't even bend. That means that he uh, that he doesn't have any bones in there. It's just empty skin. Wake up! Ah! 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 No. No. That was very, very startling. That psycho doughboy for you guys. Pops out of bed in an instant, lets out a loud screech, gets trapped under the bed momentarily. He didn't even turn on the light. He left without turning on the light. Good thing this is still illuminated, so let's just grab this. Alright, here we are. At the sausage train part. Yeah, yeah, there's a sausage train that I gotta make. But there's only one piece of meat and that's not enough, so let's go up into the meat freezer. Up we go. Up we go. There it is. Got one piece of meat hanging up there and a piece of meat over here. I swear, after I have I have finished the level with this level and also the guest and also go into the guest area and stuff, I swear I get so hungry. I cuz cuz I'm being shown all this food. I'm just so hungry for like for for I don't know what's. But these meats look so good. Catch it. Ow! They landed right on my back. But I'm fine. This piece of meat is the odd man out because it's got a, a gash in it. There we go. Did, did it just... Did you just see that? This thing looked like it just pulsated. Look at that, it just pulsated. Did this one pulsate? No, that one didn't pulsate. This one? That one, that one pulsated. This one? Yeah, yeah, they're all pulsating once I stop. Once I stop. That is creepy. All right, and over here inside this room is the, is the sixth porcelain doll. I think I'm at number six now. Three big juicy chunks of meat served. <laughs> Did you see that? They just bounced off the sides of of the little, like as if there was a cylinder there. All right, crank it up, knock it. Okay, did you see that? One of the meats just vanished into thin air. He doesn't know I'm here. But once I go in this elevator, he will! Yeah, he heard that alright. Ha 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 ha, you're too late. Alrighty. And now we need to hop in... I said we need to hop in this little crevice. And we've made it. Up you come. Come on, psycho doughboy. Here you are. See, I mean, like, he coughs, but his lips and mouth does, do not move. So, he, this is obviously a mask that he's wearing. I mean, I have no doubt in my mind that that is a mask. It even looks like a mask. Get in there, big guy. Now, he's gonna start chopping. That key, that key is lying right on the table. It has to be, doesn't it? Keep on, keep it up, buddy. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> Get it stuck. There we go. Ugh, yummy. No, 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 no. Ah! No, no. What the hell? Don't come out that way. I'm not there. Now I'm going under the table. So you don't know where I am. Dude, you don't know where I am. Go away. You would not! Oh, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't see me. He didn't see me. He didn't see me. Alright. Get something. See, see what I mean? With these guys, it's out of sight, out of mind. And now we're actually coming up to the... Uh, Seventh Geisha doll. Alright, so once you fall down this trash chute, then you gotta turn on your light, go over to the right bottom corner, and there it is. And then... Smash it. Eh. And then we climb up to... where are we climbing up to? Oh yeah, we're climbing up to those two guys working together. As a matter of fact, in in uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, Mr. Fucking Psycho Doughboy actually hate each other, but these guys actually seem to be getting along. You guys want to see a surprise? Hey there! Duck! Ah! Ah! Come on. 
Someone just got a big guy. Uh, nope. Okay. Haha. -ha. I sure out tricked them. Nope. I'm under. I'm not under that table. I'm under this table. No, you don't know where I am. You don't know where I am. Oh no. No, 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 no. Ha <laughs> ha. So tricksy clever am I. Get out of here, big guy. Nobody loves you. I'm out of here! No, 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 you're not grabbing me. I'm all sudsy. I'm a slippery little bastard. And you guys are a bunch of idiots. See, you can't reach me. Go ahead. Knock down your thing of plates. You're going to have a lot more explaining to do to the lady. Probably going to fire you guys on the spot. Come get me, if you're not cowards. Yeah, come on. Come on, Psycho Doughboy. Show me what you got. Run into there. Your little piddly arms can't reach me. But Mr. Fuck's already over there. He's over there. He's waving hello. Hello there. Oh, I want you so bad. Hello there. And now here comes Psycho Doughboy, Boy. Crashing through like a madman. Here's Doughboy number two. Ta -ha! Nice job. You missed me. <clears throat> grab it, grab it, grab it. What the hell? I jumped and tried to grab that, that thing and nothing happened. <laughs> like Psycho Doughboy Boy was clapping for his brother. Okay, I'm out of here. Now he waves like, hello. Hey, Psycho Doughboy. Boy. Here's the little scamp. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Can't reach me. Grab yourself. Now grab it this time. I'm out of here. Where that? Where the literal hell did he get that bottle? He just grabbed it out of thin air. Was it like an invisible one hanging on the railing? <sighs> now this little thing just little jostles me off and onto the pipe, and in we go, and out we are. I'm in awe of the maw. This thing must have taken like a couple millenniums to build. We got Pancake Cheeks over here sucking on a steak. We've got the troll under the bridge here enjoying some sausages, but all of a sudden he got dissatisfied, so here he comes after six. We got uh, Ogre Face over there. Yeah, this guy's Troll Face, that guy's Ogre Face, Ogre Face, that one's Granny. We also got Pancake Cheeks in the distance there. There we go, we got another Ogre Face and we got Granny. Yeah. My real grandma does not look like that though, thankfully. She actually looks pretty nice. Okay, uh, buddy up, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're never gonna reach me. Never, never mind. Okay, now it looks like she was giving me a wet slobbery grandma kiss. <laughs> okay, and I wake up right underneath the, the guy, pancake cheeks. That's lovely. You know what? If this, if I was literally in this place, it would be triggering my misophonia like crazy. Because, I mean, these things are even just grotesquely massive, and I wouldn't be running away in fear. I'd actually want... I mean, I mean, she's tiny and frail, so... Of course, she wouldn't be able to break out of their grasp, but I'm bigger than she is. I'm much bigger than Six is. And these things, I would be able to just, uh... Does the jump key keeps on failing on me? I keep on hitting it, like, too close to the edge. Okay. There we go, you see? Just barely grabbing my footsies. Just barely grabbing my foot. Oh my, don't don't fall back in your chair, Grandma. And I made it out. And we got some more of them. We got some more big fellas, ladies and gentlemen. Like, when you observe these guys eating, you can see the food disappearing, but then it just keeps on... Like, that, that block of cheese just went in his mouth. But watch this. Look at that, see? It's like it literally came out of his sleeve. He's got more food stuffed in his sleeves. All right. And the strategy to get through this, in case you're having trouble with it, you gotta dash and and then like jump right before they grab you. That's the best way to get as far away from their grasp as they can. And you see what I mean? They they uh, are so intent on catching me, but once I'm out of their grasp, then they just start uh or out of their reach, then they just start going back to their food. They only care about what's right in front of them. Kind of like the chefs. These three guys are gonna come after me. We got a troll face, an ogre face, and a grandma. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I know. You guys want me so bad. I taste terrible, though. Whoa! Bottle flip! That was impressive. No, there we go. Pancake cheeks. Let's go. Come on. Come on. 
You want me so bad? Crash. Let's go. He's trying to grab me off his back, you little hunchback in Notre Dame. And I'm out of here. He just turns around, goes back to his table. Yeah, good luck getting back into your seat, big Lennox. Oh no. And there is the eighth Geisha doll up there. Mr. Fuck coming after me. I thought I was done with those guys, but I was apparently not. And then you do balance beam. Or if you want to go like me, you just run to the end because you've got that much good balance. And just drop carefully. Okay. Then you grab this and throw it. There we go. And into the elevator. And that guy can't hear you because he's so intent on chopping up whatever he's chopping. Okay, now we're going to come to these guys. Orgy pile number one. Move out. Come on. Orgy pile number two. Yep, it's your turn now. Orgy pile number three. Let's go. Oh, we also got a clown face. Actually, he's wearing a mask, what am I saying? Jeez. These things are literally just destroying everything in their path. A horde of running guests. You can't stop them. They're too much. The way they just all come sliding in like that is so awesome, though. What? Yeah. Just walk calmly to regain some of my stamina. Oh no, you're not getting me, troll face. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jump. Oh, bye. Hey there. Now they're all just turning away and worming their way back to wherever hellhole they came from. Hey there, buddy. Why was six afraid of seven? Which is what the runaway kid is theorized to be named. Because seven, eight, nine! But there's no nine here. And here comes the next shadow figure. There it is. And also the light breaks. Now that's something else I found out. I found out that the lady's powers, when I obtain the lady's powers at the end of the game, then the light then the overhead lights do actually break when I'm walking out of the place. So this means I've already got some of her powers already. There she is. Right, so I already broke Geisha doll number eight. Here's number nine. And there. And now we're gonna need to get number ten, the last one, and I know exactly where that one is. So here comes the last Geisha doll, and then I'm just gonna finish this game because I'm almost there, so why not? Why the hell not, right, ladies and gentlemen? There we go. Hip, hip, but yep, hoppity jump. Grab it, and the mask is mine! Awesome. That's all ten dolls broken. Now you know how to do it. So I'm just gonna go and get through this once more. And here comes the lady. Mm -mm -mm. You ain't gonna get me! And duck and cover! Don't moan like that, that's kinda weird. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And there's five. Oh. Come on. We gotta belt her two more times. In the same beam of light. Got you. Whoa. Okay. And gotcha. Alright, where are you now? There you go. There you go. Got you, R2-D2. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Battle's over. Battle's won. I'm gonna absorb him. Yeah. There you go. Oh! Oh! I thought I thought that I was always like absorbing their essence by killing them, but no, I'm actually snapping their necks. Like just snap his neck. There we go. Because I'm always hearing this brittle cracking sound. Like, I, like I can see her head is getting twisted around, and I'm hearing this brittle cracking sound. They're, all their heads are doing that. So obviously I'm snapping their necks. But then the black stuff coming from them to me, I don't know what that is. Probably vented some, some dark, or kind of lashed out some dark energy, had a coil around their neck, and then just broke them. So yeah, I'm out of here, guys. It was fun, but I'm done. Time for me to leave this place with all of you dead in disgrace. Haha, <laughs> open the door, show me the sunlight. Because I'm 
I've had enough tonight and I'll stay. Walk up the steps when I'm part way up and then I see that little eye symbol that signifies saving in the bottom right corner. That means that uh, it'll start walking all by itself and I can just do it hands free. <sighs> well, the end. So these credits are just going to zip by. There's no way to skip by them. So I'm going to end the video right here. So I hope that this one helped you, um, that this video helped you figure out where all the geisha dolls are if you didn't know already. Um, and yeah, that, that's what I was wanting this video to accomplish anyways. So thank you very so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye everybody.